Um, the wine, all I heard was just and it just fell. Home security cameras caught the shaking that also caused roads to crack. This house went up in flames. We have multiple injuries. We've had two house fires. We've had uh, small vegetation fires, power lines down, gas leaks. The local hospital was partially damaged, so 15 patients were evacuated as a precaution. Some had to be airlifted to other hospitals. Wait, Earthquake. what's going on? Are you serious? First Earthquake. Tremors were felt even more than 100 miles away at our Los Angeles station, KCBS, and dozens of aftershocks were felt in the region. I was on camera this morning when a strong one came through. Roll, someone roll, 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 roll. Back in Ridgecrest, Mayor Peggy Breeden wow. says so they're really concerned like about more potential damage. You've declared a state of emergency. What does that do for the city? It allows us to seek services from all the entities, both state and federal, that can help us with the cleanup. This was one of the largest quakes to hit Southern California since the 1994 Northridge earthquake. That trembler had a magnitude of 6.7 and left 72 people dead and up to $20 billion in damage. Caltech seismologist Lucy Jones says the area should expect aftershocks to continue for some time. There is about a 1 in 20 chance that this location will be having an even bigger earthquake within the next few days. That was Carter Evans reporting. Crews are out again today assessing the damage, looking for things like broken water pipes, cracks in the roads, and broken gas mains. The Silver State is one of the most seismically active states in the entire country. A fact many people may not realize. And like cities up and down the West Coast, Las Vegas and the surrounding areas have to keep earthquakes in mind. Patrick Walker spoke with experts to see if Las Vegas is ready to handle a large quake. Nevada is no stranger to earthquakes. The larger tremors historically have happened in the western part of the state, though the largest three, all over magnitude 7, were in central Nevada in the earlier decades of the 20th century. But in 2008, in northeastern Nevada, a 6.0 magnitude quake shook the tiny town of Wells. Really stressful and really, really heartbreaking with the old downtown just being crumbled. UNLV geology professor Dr. Wanda Taylor says an earthquake in the valley would look something like that due to a number of factors, though the magnitude of a tembler here could be somewhat more intense. Some of the faults right in Las Vegas could have a 6.4 or a 6.5, maybe a 6.7. While Las Vegas has big buildings and major infrastructure that Wells does not, projects have had to take seismic activity into account. Standards became more stringent in the past quarter century when many of our tallest buildings were constructed. Our building code changed around 1996 to increase the seismic resistance of our buildings. I can tell you this much, this community is, is prepared. Though no city will ever be earthquake proof, Clark County Deputy Fire Chief Jeff Buchanan says first responders are ready to tackle whatever an earthquake throws at them. Sometimes there are fires, sometimes there could be high angle rescue, sometimes there could be people trapped in confined spaces, so uh, all the fire departments here in the valley have a wide range of abilities and they train all the time. Patrick Walker, 8 News Now. Seismologists say larger faults in Death Valley actually pose a greater risk to the Las Vegas Valley than the faults underneath us. Those eastern California fault lines have the potential for much more powerful earthquakes.